Welcome back. New research reveals that 60% of people in Stockton have diabetes or prediabetes. That's compared to the national average of 10%. Now, a new program is hoping to change that. Results from a recent study show it's already having an impact. ABC 10's Gabriel Porras shows us how the program is changing lives. Each step for Shane Bailey is a gift. This is my best life at 72. This is my best life. Living with diabetes for a decade meant... I couldn't walk and breathe well. My heart was uh, needed to be have a transplant. But now, a year after joining Abbott Health's Food as Medicine program at the San Joaquin Emergency Food Bank, life is different. I feel healthier. My heart function and my diabetes are so controlled that I have reduced like five pills that I take. Instead of filling up pill bottles, Shane has been filling up her healthy food box. The food bank partners with DoorDash to deliver the free boxes of ingredients to program participants like Shane and some of her friends every other week. Everybody is so excited and about the box because food is expensive nowadays. These boxes loaded with nutritious ingredients are only a piece of the program, but the part that some participants say makes the most lasting impacts are these fact sheets and recipe demos. We got a new item. Up. Those cooking demos hosted live every other week by Alex Madapo and her team at the food bank. It really gives them the opportunity to learn new foods and learn how to cook new items. Results from a study on the first full year of the program show that A1C levels decreased by 0.80%. The study also found that participants ate almost two more servings of fruits and vegetables per week. Those results ring true for Shane, who has a new way of handling being hungry and a new outlook on life. My go-to now is I carry apples in my purse. So when I get hungry and my blood sugar goes low or something happens, I can eat an apple. I'm ready to live to 95. That's what, that's what I'm putting out there in the universe. And that was our Gabriel Porras reporting. Program directors hope to add another 500 people. The only requirements to get involved are living in Stockton and having diabetes.